So many social engagements. So little time. Junior, till we think of a better one. Well, why don't you call him Jason? I just love biblical names. If I had another little boy, I would name him Jason Caleb or Tab. <gasps> oh! He's an angel! He's an angel straight from heaven! No, honey. I had all my kids the hard way. You just gotta tell me how you got this little angel. What do you do? Just fly straight down from heaven. Well, uh... you're gonna send him to Arizona State. <laughs> Need a beer, Glenn? Does the Pope wear a funny hat? Yeah, Glenn, I guess it is kind of funny. Say, that reminds me. How many Pollocks it take to screw up a light bulb? I don't know, Glenn. One? Nope, takes three. <laughs> Wait a minute, no, I told him wrong. Here, I'm starting again. How come it takes three Pollocks to screw up a light bulb? I don't know, Glenn. Because they're so darn stupid. <laughs> Shit, man. Listen up. What's the matter? Don't you get it? No, Glenn, I sure don't. Well, shit, man, I guess that's why they call it a way homer. Why's that? Because you only get it on the way home. I'm already home, Glenn. You wet yourself, you wet yourself. Mr. McDonald wet himself, Daddy. <laughs> Say, that reminds me. How'd you get that kid so darn fast? Me and Dot went into a doctor on account of something went wrong with my semen, and they said we had to wait five years for a healthy white baby. I said, healthy white baby, five years? Okay, what else you got? Said they got two Koreans and a nigga born with his heart on the outside. <laughs> it's a crazy world. Someone ought to sell tickets. Sure, I'd buy one. <laughs> that Buford's a sly one. He already knows his ABCs. Watch this. Hit the deck, boy. But like I'm saying, how'd you get the kit? Well, this whole thing is just who knows who. But then over here you have favoritism. Yeah, Ed has a friend at one of the agencies. Maybe she can do something for me and Dot. See, there's something wrong with my semen. Say, that reminds me. What you gonna name it? Ed. Ed Jr. But I thought you said it was a boy. Well, that's an Edward. We just like that name. Yeah, that's a good one. See, I don't even need another kid, but Dot says he's here getting too big to cuddle. Say that reminds me. Mind you don't cut yourself, Mordecai. <laughs> then there's a the diphtheria tetanus, what they call the dip tet. You gotta get him dip tet boosters yearly or else he'll develop lockjaw and that vision. Then there's the smallpox vaccine, chicken pox, and measles. And if your kid's anything like ours, you're gonna have to get all those shots yourself first before he'll ever take them. <laughs> Who's your pediatrician anyway? We ain't exactly fixed on one yet, have we, Hi? No, I guess we don't have one yet. Jesus, well, you gotta have one! You gotta have one this instant! Yeah, well, what if the baby gets sick, honey? Even if he don't get sick, he's got to have his dip tat. He's gotta have his dip tat, honey. He started his bank accounts yet. Have we done that, honey? We gotta do that, honey. What's that for, Dot? That there's for his orthodonture and his university. Now, you soak his thumb and I die, and you might get by without the orthodonture and won't knock a thing off the university. Right. right! You take that diaper off your head. You put it back onto your sister. Honey, what? You probably got the life insurance all squared away. Have we done that yet, honey? Gotta do that, hi. Ed here's got our hands full of this little angel. Yes, ma'am. What would Ed and Little Angel do if a truck came along and splattered your brains all over the interstate? Where would you be then? Yeah, honey, what if you get run over? Or you got carried off by a twister? See, that reminds me. You hear about the person of the Polish persuasion? He walks into a bar and got this big old pile of shit in his hand, and he says, hey, look what I almost stepped in. Yeah, that's <laughs> funny, all right. You're damn right, it's funny shit, man. What's the matter? 
I don't know. Maybe it's wife, kids, family life. I mean, uh, are you, are you satisfied, Glenn? Don't you ever feel suffocated? Like, like there's something big pressing down. Yeah, I do know that feeling. I don't know. And I told Dot to lose some weight, but she don't want to listen. <laughs> no, man, I know what you mean. I mean, you got all these responsibilities now. You're married, you got a kid. I mean, looks like your whole life is set down. And where's the excitement? Yeah, Glenn, I guess that's it. Okay, that's a disease, but you got a cure. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Dr. Glenn is here to tell you that you can heal thyself. What do I got to do? Well, you just got to broaden your mind a little bit. Night. Say if I was to ask you, what do you think about Dot? Ah, she's a fine woman you got there. Okay, now you might not know it to look at her, but she's a Hellcat. That right? T I G E R. Well, what's that got to do with? Uh, now, don't rush me. The thing about Dot is, she told me this. She thinks. She thinks you're cute. Yeah. I'm crapping you negative, and I could say the same thing about Ed. What are you talking about, Glenn? What am I talking about? I'm talking about sex, boy. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about Lamore. I'm talking to me and daughter swingers, as in to swing. I'm talking about wife swapping. I'm talking about what they call nowadays open marriage. I'm talking about... Keep your goddamn hands off my wife. I was only trying to help! You crazy! You crazy, man! Keep your goddamn hands off my wife! You crazy! I pity you!